what I learned way later in life is that I quit at everything I ever did. Everything I ever did in my life, I quit. And I sat back and wondered, why am I never winning? Of course I'm never going to win because I'm always quitting. You start blaming other things and other people. See, what happens is when you point the finger at somebody, there's three fingers point them back. And you want to say dream stealers. You know, people blame a lot of things on dream stealers, but some of the biggest dream stealers are people who love you, who care about you. Yeah, I still remember my first dream stealer. I must have been about six years old. And my first dream stealer, let him rest in peace, was my dad. And everybody knows how tight me and my dad was. I came to the house and I was like, God, I know what I want to be when I grow up. And he said, what? And I said, I want to be a, a tap dancer. So I love Sammy Davis Jr. and Gregory Hines. I said, I want to I do tap. And he smirked at me and he said, you know, there's not a lot of money in that. You, you know, how are you going to pay the bills? And it's, it's rare that someone could become famous doing that. And in my head, I'm like, damn, I want to entertain people, but he's right. My father taught me to be the man of the house, take care of the family. And when he said that, I was like, I can't be the man of the house if I'm poor and I ain't making no money. So this is my first dream stealer. I never tap danced a day in my life after that. If I'm looking in the mirror and I don't believe it in myself, nothing's gonna happen. This is how my mindset was that even when things were going good, when my business was growing by the day, I was so used to losing that I told myself, you know what? Something's wrong. It's too good to be true. Something's, something bad is about to happen. Because whenever something good happens, something worse happens. And I kept telling myself that. I kept telling myself that. And the biggest dream stealer is yourself. Instead of believing in myself as I can do anything, I started to believe myself, telling myself I wasn't good enough. You get punched in the nose, you want to become a boxer, you get punched in the nose, your nose starts getting bloody like I don't want to box no more. And you quit. So don't quit. As cliche as it may sound, don't quit, man.